okay there is question number 15 in which four statements are offered statement statement number 1 both photophosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation involve uphill transport of the proton across the membrane yes definitely because photophosphorylation and oxidative phosphorylation both are the types of the electron transport chain mediated atp generation where there is pumping of the proton across the membrane requires a investment of the energy it means uphill phenomena so the statement statement number a is the correct one later on we shift to the another option statement in dicot stem a new cambium originates from the cells of the meristem pericycle at the time of secondary growth no there is the technical fault is that the origin of the new cambium is from the pericycle is wrong in case of dicot stem meristem arise from the medullary rays rather than the peris pericycle so it is the not the right one later on stamens into the flower of the glorisa and the petunia are polyandrous yes whether we know glorisa and petunia doesn't show any kind of cohesion whether they show addition with the rest of the cycles floral whorls also but there is no polyandrous condition there is polyandrous condition is obvious so the statement statement number c is also correct one later on the last option offered or statement offered is the symbiotic nitrogen fixers occur in free living state also in the soil yes definitely because symbiotic nitrogen fixation is the one of the not the compile uh, one of the not the compulsion phenomena for the survivability it is compulsion just to overcome any kind of life hurdles so whenever they are not in the state of nitrogen fixation they simply found in the soil as a free living organisms only the nitrogen fixation phenomena where they will show such kind of mutualistic relation or the symbiotic relation so as per the conclusion we can claim that the op statement number a statement statement number c and statement number d are correct so as per the choice of the options we have to go along with the option number 4 so the correct answer would be option number 4 yes there is question number 23 as it is saying that which of the following generally act as antagonist to the gibberellin we should sense the question means the particular chemical which can oppose the activities of gibberellin the options are given as abscisic acid yes we know abscisic acid can inhibit all the activities which is actually promoted by the gibberellin so definitely all the activities of gibberellin can be encountered by the abscisic acid so abscisic acid is one of the anti gibberellic chemical another option is the indole acetic acid we know indole acetic acid is not showing any kind of antagonistic impact on the activities of gibberellin another one third option is the giartin giartin is also one of the such kind of growth regulator which doesn't show any kind of uh, uh, antagonistic impact on uh, gibberellic activities and ethylene also goes in the same category it is also not offer any kind of antagonistic impact so the option first is the correct answer for the given question yes question number 52 though their effect on the plant growth regulators what do the temperature and light control in the plants first we have to sense the question that there are a large number of environmental factors which show their impact on the growth of the plant development of the plant via plant growth regulators so we have to choose the particular environmental factor which will show their impact via plant growth regulator first option given is the closure of stomata we know stomatal closure is simply the potassium hydrogen ion antiport activity means there is no influence of the growth regulator so option a first is not the correct one fruit elongation is simply solely dependent on the growth regulation means there is no impact of the environmental factor third option is the apical dominance we know apical dominance is also one of the sole phenomena of growth regulator which is not influenced by any kind of external environmental factor fourth option is the flowering we know flowering phenomena is governed by the temperature means the relative duration of the light and dark hours as you know relative duration of the light and dark hours show their impact on the phenomena via plant growth regulator as we have discussed about the florigen concept so we should imagine that the flowering phenomena is one of the biological phenomena where the environmental factors will show their impact via plant growth regulator so in this situation the answer would be fourth